a lot of people wanted me to cut my hair before the actual hair loss. And I said, no, I wanted to experience it. Because I do believe that through this journey, I might be able to help other women also go through it. And I wanted to experience it, to know what is happening right now, understanding my emotions at that point, and actually journaling. I have journaled quite a few of my sessions and you know what I've been going through and how things were. Um, and when the hair started coming out, I could actually see, wow, they said day 14, the hair will come out, it's day 14, <laughs> the hair is coming out. But I mean, in the end, you come to a point where you say, you know, my life is not about hair, it's not about my nails, it's not about my pigmentation. You get to a realization, this journey will bring you to a point where you realize that life is so much more valuable than the little things that we focus our lives on. In December, when I was diagnosed, you obviously now ask yourself, okay, where did this come from? I don't know of anybody in my family bloodline that has ever had that, uh, been diagnosed with cancer. And then when I investigated, I found that my aunt had actually had breast cancer, but she never went for treatments. And I guess that's why she died of a stroke because the pain was too much for her. So she never went for any treatments and I don't know why, was it a stigma around being labeled or I don't know or was it just you know um, are people ashamed of talking about uh, these diseases could be I, I can't think of anything else why she would not have she has disclosed it to uh, maybe one or two family members and that was it but she never went for any treatment so they knew about it but they also just didn't say anything until I asked and then they also told me that my grandfather had throat cancer and then funny enough, in January, February, I had an aunt who was diagnosed with cervical cancer. So it's like, these things were now just coming out. The medical aid was great. One of the things that I was saying, you know, um, I do believe that um, there was a lot of things in my whole journey that I believe God has prepared for me. Because when I was working um, at another company in 2016 before I resigned, I only had a hospital plan. And then I resigned and in 2017 I got a new job and then um, the benefits that came with this job was medical aid. And I was now able to take the same amount of money that I paid for the hospital plan to pay my portion for the medical aid which was now a better plan where I had now savings and oncology, you know, um, on this plan. So with the... With they have, uh, they give you 200,000 for oncology, which is outside of hospital. The medical funds, the, or the, 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 the costs of chemotherapy is so expensive. I just don't know how other people would do otherwise if they do not have a medical aid with oncology benefit. I mean, you can go over two, 300,000 per annum just for your treatment. That's a lot of money. 